Does a master's degree help you to take the PE exam quicker? Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'll answer that question and also cover some of the other benefits to getting your master's degree as an engineering professional. This episode of Pass the PE Exam is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. So, does a master's degree help you to take the PE exam sooner than without one? To get right to the point here, in many states, you reduce the amount of qualifying engineering experience required, which is typically four years for a PE license, by one full year with a master's degree in engineering. However, you will likely need to complete your degree before it will count. You will not get credit for a degree that you are working towards. Now, it is very important that you check your state board's website to be certain though, because every state has their own requirements related to the master's degree credit. You must verify that your state will let you count your master's degree towards the required experience to obtain your PE license. Don't assume that your state will let you count your master's degree, especially if that's one of the only reasons that you're pursuing the degree, which I don't recommend. Find out as soon as you decide to actually pursue your PE license. Remember, getting a master's degree takes a lot of time, effort, and money, especially if you're working at the same time. Now, one option to obtain your master's degree is to do it full-time, right after your undergraduate studies. But my personal opinion on this is to start getting engineering experience ASAP. That was my route, and I obtained my master's degree in engineering by going at night while I was working. Now, I really like this route for two reasons. One, you start getting actual job experience right away. And secondly, many engineering companies will reimburse you for some or all of your master's degree tuition. The engineering company that I work for did. For example, let's say you graduate from an accredited university with an undergraduate engineering degree. You immediately start working for an engineering company, right? You start to gain that qualifying engineering experience right away. However, at the same time, you start a master's degree program part-time, which your company partially reimburses you for. Now, you can very well finish this master's degree in three years part-time, at which time you would then have three years of engineering experience plus the master's degree, which in most states will get you into the PE exam. Now, getting a master's degree has several benefits, so let's take a look at a few of them. Number one, salary. The most obvious reason to get a master's in engineering is the increase in salary that an advanced degree may provide. Graduates with an MS in mechanical engineering from Carnegie Mellon had a starting median salary of $90,000, which is more than $20,000 more than undergraduates in the same field from the same university. Number two, leadership opportunities. Engineers with master's level degrees will have most likely had some kind of in-class training in management techniques, and experience working on or leading teams in more complicated engineering projects as part of their master's coursework. Adding these kinds of soft skills to an already technically impressive resume is an important reason to think about pursuing a master's in engineering. Number three, career change. A master's degree in engineering can be an effective way to shift the direction of your career. For example, let's say you have an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering and worked for five years in the oil and gas industry. But during that time, 
you became more interested in civil engineering and you want to make a change. Pursuing a master's degree in civil engineering may allow you to more easily make that transition. Engineers with an undergraduate degree already have a lot of technical skills that they'll need to successfully transfer within an industry, right? You have it already. And oftentimes your previous experience in a different field of engineering can help your admissions profile and give you a competitive boost if you had opportunities to lead teams or projects. So don't think that you can't make that switch because of your background. You can, and a master's degree can help. Number four, specification. Engineers with a bachelor's degree will likely develop some specialized skills if they stick with one company or one industry early in their career. But the choice of specialization will largely be directed by the needs of the companies they work for. Engineers with a master's degree will have developed a more fine-tuned set of skills and interests during their graduate program that will give them a greater chance of finding a job that is in line with the work they're passionate about doing. That means engineers with master's degrees not only get paid more, but they're probably more satisfied with the work that they're doing, especially if they work in a highly technical discipline of engineering. Number five, networking. Lastly, your career development is often directly related to the network that you build. And through a master's degree program, it is likely that you will meet and build relationships with other engineering professionals in your field. These relationships might lead to future career opportunities or just a more enjoyable career. Whether or not your master's degree counts towards your engineering experience, having your master's in engineering holds many benefits that will help with quicker career progression, increased salary, career transitions, and you may have a better chance of working on projects that you are passionate about. Now remember, Check with your state board to see if they will allow it to count towards your qualifying engineering experience for the PE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your PE exam results. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, or maybe there's a problem that you need help solving. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.